This is an extra example problem for Chapter 7, Permeability. And for this example, we are given a cross-section of a levee. And that levee is three, uh, 500 meter long. And this 500 meter long is into the paper. So that's basically, we're only showing just a cross-section 2D view of this levee. And then we know the uh, thickness of the permeable sand layer. That's uh, 2 meter. And we observed the quantity of water flow through the sandy layer is 250 meter cube per day. So that's basically a flow rate, small q. And we're going to estimate the uh, hydraulic conductivity of sand layer. Okay. And to estimate hydraulic conductivity, we're going to make use of Darcy's law, which is q equals to kia. And from this Darcy's law, we can calculate the hydraulic conductivity K is simply Q over IA. Okay. So the key to solve this example is to find what A is and what hydraulic gradient is. So Q is given 250, uh, 250 uh, meter cube per day. Okay. To, so to find, so first let's look at um, that A. So A is the cross-sectional area. Okay. And for this example, so water is flowing along this permeable sand layer basically in a horizontal direction. So A is cross-sectional area perpendicular to flow. So A is basically this perpendicular direction. We know the height is 2. And then the, uh, the other dimension of this cross-sectional area is that 500 meter long into the paper. Okay, so that's 5. Okay. So if you think of this levy, it's actually a 3D structure. Okay. So if I draw this levy, it's actually it's a 3D structure. So into the paper direction, so that's 500 meter long. Okay. Okay. So this is the cross-sectional area A, which is 1,000 meter square. Okay. So we got that A. And then to calculate the hydraulic gradient I, we need the distance that is parallel to flow. So that distance, for this example, is pretty simple. It's that 125 meter number. Okay. So that's the distance from this upstream. So if we call this upstream and downstream. Okay. Okay. So the distance is 125 meter. And then the head loss. So let's use small h for head loss. And this head loss is basically for this levy problem is the head loss from upstream to downstream. And it's basically the difference between up and downstream water table. So 160 minus 150. Okay. So we're given water table 160 and 150. So that's 10 meter. Okay. So that's the total head loss from upstream to downstream. And then the hydraulic gradient I is H over L. That's this is 10 over 125. That's 0 0.08. It's a dimensionless number. Then we can calculate this small k hydraulic conductivity. So that's Q equals to I A, which is 250 over 0.08 times 1,000. Okay. And the unit you get out of this is in meter per day. So 3.125 meter per day. Okay. And we can also convert this into centimeter per second. So this equals to so 3.125 and from meter to centimeter so 100 so that's 100 centimeter per meter and then per day we can convert that to second so we have 60 60 so that's 300 uh, uh, 3600 seconds per hour times 24 hours per day okay. so that gives you second per day unit conversion and this yields 
0 0.0036 centimeter per second. Okay, and then the problem also asks, based on the permeability you just calculated, what is your best estimate for sand type? Okay, and remember table seven point one. So this is table 7.1, and it gives you the soil type in typical values of K, hydraulic conductivity. And for our example, K is um, 0 0.0036 centimeter per second. Okay. And from this table, you can tell it's 0 0.0036 falls within this range of 0 0.01 to 0 0.001 centimeter per second. So based on this table, our best estimate of soil type. So based on that table 7.1, so table uh, 7.1, so we know that K of 0 0.0036 centimeter per second is most likely fine sand. Okay, so that is the uh, actual problem uh, to estimate basic hydraulic conductivity.